Okay, uh, so it looks like that. Please send the people in. We have some gifts for them. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I will start with my presentation in a minute. This is the organization team, or the most of it from Javantura Conference. Well, most of the guys from Huyak. Hi, guys. Unfortunately, no girls. Uh, so uh, we've lost some 10 or more minutes. So everything in the schedule will just slide. Don't be too concerned about it. There will be co coffee served after 10, 10, 15, uh, together with some cookies and other stuff. Uh, and at first is to tell you that this is hole A, and over there is hole B. So after 10, you can split to two different ways. Uh, those are just, did I forget something? No, that's speak creation. OK. Ah, OK, error. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry. OK, so let's start. Uh, first of all, thank you all for coming here today. Uh, I think that we, we now just crossed every record that we even could dream about this whole thing. Uh, if you remember the last Javan version 2, which was somewhere in the November 2014, so a long time ago, uh, there was only, well, I would say half of you, so 150, 160 people. I think that mm, today we are close to 300, so this is totally different. And to be honest, we didn't expect that thing, so it kind of scared us <laughs> yesterday when we started counting the, the accreditations and everything around it. But it looks like that we managed it somehow. Uh, so for those of you who know me, uh, my name is Branko Mihaljevic, I'm president of Huyak. And over here also I are the guys from Huyak, Hrvoj Djurovic, Aleksandar Radovan, Slav Kožnidaric, Stjepan Matijašević, and Marek Kovic. Uh, who's missing? Jurica is missing. Unfortunately, he's not able to be here today. But this is basically uh, the brain and the muscles behind Javantura and well, behind Huyak also. Uh, <coughs> so let me start with this session. Uh, just like an introduction in this whole thing, I will talk about a whole bunch of different things. So don't be too concerned about it. And we also have some sponsors and some other conferences that we want to show you at the end of this session. So we'll finish in something like close to an hour from now. So that, that's the plan. So uh, coffee will be served then, as I told you. Uh, OK, so is this working? Oh, it has to be plugged in. And now it is. Uh, let's start first with the community warm up, as they say. Do you know real glasses? Yeah, exactly, because they don't see sharp. Uh, occasionally, I have like so. Don't, don't mind that thing. Uh, OK, so first, the story about Huyak. What is Huyak? Well, Huyak exists now for four years. But Huyak is basically you. OK, we are all volunteers. There, this is not our j regular job. We all have our regular jobs. We suffered kind of this week, so that's also a problem. Uh, Huyak is you. Who are you? Well, you are developers, programmers, team leaders, IT managers, architects, students. Even my students are here. Hi. Uh, entrepreneur and the others. So if we say we from Huyak, no. You from Huyak, okay? Because I think that something like at least 70 uh, percent. Uh, thank you all for coming to Javantura. As I said, we didn't expect so much people. So if everything in the organization is not smoothly, I must admit, first of all, we are doing such a conference basically once a year. I mean, all volunteers. If we were professional in this business, so then it will be much, much better, probably. Uh, and you are the reason why are we all here, not we, we as a whole. Uh, so who remembers this picture? Or who knows anyone from this picture? That guy over there. 
Now he has a bit less hair and it's grayed out. But do you see a thing on his shirt, t-shirt there? Yes, that's James Gosling. Uh, they started in 1901 doing the stealth project. This was the green team a photograph in Aspen when they assembled together to produce something that they didn't know that it will ever become a thing called Java. By the way, it was called Oak at that time. And in the O2994, they written the first compiler in Java, or for Java. Then they also developed the first browser, which we don't have anymore today, uh, which was called Hot Java. And in 1995, because of some legal issues and copyrights, they renamed which had uh, in front of them. At summer of 95, we announced Java for the first time. So Java is now a little bit older than 20 years, okay? So a long time from now, from that time. Uh, I'll start with the thing I love the most, and those are the numbers. We saw that a lot of times, so I'm repeating some of the things that refreshed and and so on. So Java continuously grows in the more than 20 years now, and this is still number one development platform in the world, as Oracle says now, also in the cloud. And it is, you wouldn't believe that, because there is 10 millions of Java programmers, there is 10 millions of us there in the world. Uh, the good thing about it is that some 8% or so out of those have some kind of Java certification also, so they can prove that they've known Java in some way. By the way, if you didn't know, around 30 billion devices run Java today. Uh, they say around 1 billion of automotive devices, 200 million of men. Branko, please use this mic because it's okay. Switch to this one. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so we also know that probably I hope that hundred percent of you over here also know to program something in Java. Well, at least hello world, if nothing else. If you're dealing with some other languages right now. Uh, the reasons why Java, when, why we are all in this thing, well, it's still the most popular language in the world. Uh, it's definitely portable. Uh, you remember that saying, uh, right once run anywhere from a long time ago. It's open source. It's built to do all kinds of things from the enterprise cluster servers scalable in every way you want it to do, even smallest devices which you find in something like, what are those trains here doing? I don't know. I'll cover that later. Uh, there is enormous ecosystem of all bunch of things, including the greatest tools probably in the world and the code and the libraries behind it. And we have some vendor backing, of course, uh, from Oracle and the other large companies who are behind it. Okay, there is also one other thing that's connected to Java, and we have some Andre developers here also today with us. Uh, and as Gosling said, I think it was last year, well, Java is not anymore just a language. It's basically a platform. Uh, there are now more than 30 JVM languages there, which could be run, so including the Clojure, Groovy, Scholar, JRuby, whatever you name it, uh, which can run on the same platform. And that's, that's the greatest thing about it. Uh, if you don't believe me that that's such a great thing, but probably do because you're working uh, at least for a few years with it right now, the most of you, there is this thing called people, people Index, Popularity of Programming Language. We, I've shown that slide a long time ago, and I'm showing it right now. Java is there on the first place with something like 24%. Uh, percent, uh, and if you compare it with everything else, like Python and PHP and the others, it's still there on the top. So the picture looks like this. Uh, if you don't see it correctly, I even could emphasize that thing and show you that Java is always the first for the last 10 years, okay? Maybe even more because they didn't measure it before. So people says that we are practically the best. Okay, our language is the best. Uh, they even try to do some kind of survey and to look for the same things, for instance, in Europe. So in Germany, hmm, it's also the same thing. Java is there with 26%, Python is the second, and some of the other languages. Uh, if you go to the UK, well, okay, I have some problem, a little bit of a glitch there, because Python just, just 
was is first now for the last half a year or so, but we are so close. So, okay, so if you ever go uh, to UK to do some work, maybe you should also learn Python. I don't know, who knows. Uh, what I wanted to say is that this is not, like the previous slide, the global thing. This is the Europe thing, so what we can expect of it. If you don't trust people, we have some relatively controversial but still ongoing index which we call Tiobe, uh, which says that also Java is the first. Okay, they do agree. Okay, that probably there is something in it. And one thing that I didn't expect is that there was a headline in April 2015 that said Java is back at the top. So if you can see this thing over here, at certain time C was a little bit up. And then now I don't know what's going on, but Java is just rising. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like that we are in a good job. At least it looks like by these things. Uh, okay, I I'm kind of a scientist, a researcher, so I want to see some real numbers. Let's go to something like IEEE and their spectrum. And they combined 12 metrics together from 10 sources and they found out something like this. Okay, there are others, but still we're there on the top. Uh, they combine things from GitHub, Stack Overflow, Hacker News, Career Builder, Google, of course, and some others. So if you connect all that together, probably that means also something. Uh, if you turn to something called GitHub, there is a measure of activity on GitHub which we call GitHub. Okay. So they have a nice presentation about it, and Java is there the second. Okay, who knows what's first? Yes. Um, <laughs> HTML, yeah. Uh, so unfortunately, yes, ja uh, JavaScript is there the first, but Java is just, you know, there with something around 10% of active repositories uh, on, GitHub, on GitHub, sorry, uh, with more than 2 million uh, of pushes. So it looks like that we are pretty good standing there also on GitHub. Let's go on. Uh, if you, by the way, this is, this is just a small picture of what's happening since 2012 till 2014. I don't have the data for 15, sorry. Uh, so there is also one great company which is called RamMonk, which is doing every six months. They are comparing what's happening at GitHub and Stack Overflow. And they put it together and they just say, okay, this is the chart of all the important languages in the world. And I don't know if you see it correctly, probably you don't. But up there, it says Java. It's not really well, to see. Uh, well, but I will put it like this, so you know what's going on. And if you look closely to this chart, okay, JavaScript is once again the first, but we are really close. Uh, there are some closures, groups, scholars, and others a little bit down there. Uh, okay, we are still not convinced. Uh, Let's try to see a little bit about the history. Those 20 years just passed, like uh, at least for me, because I started working with Java in 1996, which was a really long time. Uh, it looks like that we, are, we had a whole bunch of uh, versions in the meantime, and it, when you ask Oracle, it looks like this. Uh, to be honest, I was not satisfied with this picture because it's not showing t enough, enough details for my analytical mind, so I did it my own. Uh, we started there in 1995. Then there was the first JDK also in 95, which uh, uh, was presented in beta. And Oak was there in 1996 in January. And since then, well, there has been a long history of Java editions and versions up to somewhere around 2009. And what happened then? Okay, Sun Microsystems is not called Sun Microsystems anymore, although, well, the servers still have their name, but they became the part of Oracle. So, basically, at, after that, we had Java SE7, which we still use, unfortunately, a lot. Uh, and in 2011, oh, there is Huyak. Uh, well, we were there for all kinds of unofficial meetings and meetups and drink cups, to be honest, and uh, we decided, okay, maybe there is time to do something like Croatia, and why do all the other countries have uh, Java user groups and we don't? Uh, after that, uh, they developed Java Enterprise Edition. Uh, summer in 2014, they came also the Spider, or the Java Standard Edition 8, and uh, now we are 
expecting a new thing to come, well, somewhere there in 2017. So we have to wait a little while. Uh, I'll explain why on some of the next slides. Of course, we can expect the Java 8 also over there, probably somewhere around 17, 18, but who knows, there are still plans are not sure there, and I'll also explain that why also later. Uh, and probably two years later or so, there will be a standard edition 10 over there. Uh, what happened in the meantime? Well, in the meantime happened, first of all, our first Java conference that we did together with Croatian Oracle user group. Uh, here is Vlado, vice president of Rogue, and that was large success. Okay, we did it in a hotel in development in Tuchel because they opened it, uh, well, a day before that. The official opening was 10 days later. Uh, but, you know, we got, I think, something like 150, 200 people for the first time together uh, about Java in one place. Uh, in Croatia. Uh, in 13, we did the first Java crawl. We renamed uh, the Java 2010. That, that name is not that too intuitive, and you couldn't search for it on Google really easily. No, Java 2013. So we renamed it to Java crawl, who would say so. Uh, and after that, we also did our first Javantura. Okay, we changed some places. So Java, the first Javantura was more like, a, a, let's say, an extension of a meetup, but this is a pretty large meetup today, if you call it like that. Uh, we did Java Crawl 14, and then we did the Java version 2, and finally last year we did the Java Crawl 15, which was in Rovin, as it will be also this year. Uh, so we are now here, Java version 3, and let's see what will be going on also. So where are we now? Well, this is the span for the last two years, basically. We are now having the Java 8. Uh, there are some updates in the meantime. And as you can see on this slide, by the way, I copied this slide directly from Oracle Java 1 presentation. Uh, uh, there is still no Java 9 on this slide. So we are still doing updates and we'll be doing them for this whole year. Uh, and that's basically what we can expect. Uh, we already know Java 8. Who is on Java 8 right now? Hands up, please. Who is still on Java 7? If you don't know how to learn Java 8, and I know that you do, uh, I don't think that they still don't have a lot of books about Java 8, as I recall, only 50 books or so that you can read. So, yeah, okay, if you want to learn it, that's pretty easily, you know, the lambdas, if you didn't know. Uh, and what to expect in Java 9? Well, a few things that we can expect and we will have in Java 9. The first thing is the modularity. Uh, well, it's concerned with two things. The first is the performance, uh, which will have a lot of new startup speed with some ahead of time compilation, some fast classes lookup, linkers with optimizers, and we'll also get rid of all those old internal API coming still from and we are having some class dependency analyzers and such things. So this modularity is coming pretty hard. There is a whole project behind it, if you don't know, uh, its name is Jigsaw. And Jigsaw is, uh, well, consisting of a whole bunch of things. There is this modular JDK JAP 200, like an umbrella around this whole thing, but a lot of different things inside of it, like motor source code, runtime images, and the GSR with the whole module system behind it. So that's what we have. That's not all. Of course we'll have the project Valhalla. What's that? Well, there will be some kind of value types and var handles and even some new special like generics and other things in that project. And that's still not all. We'll if you never that thing. Well, there are some new arrays and layout construction interfaces and a whole bunch of things. So it looks like that the future is pretty bright, as I can see it. Um, but there is one problem with it. They said that it will be finished in September 2016. And sorry, not. In December 2015, uh, this is coming from Mark Reinhold. As usual, he's just posting that online on the forum. And he said, OK, sorry, we did a lot, a whole bunch of great things, but we are kind of late with that Jigsaw. And Jigsaw needs some more time. So he's proposing a six-month extension. And basically, the general availability of the whole new Java 9 will be somewhere in March 
2017. By the way, if you didn't know, I was just looking it up. The 23rd of March 2017, that's just 22 years from the birth of Java, the original conference on which it was shown the first time. So they just put the, the date there. Uh, so Mark was just, you know, some of us were kind of disappointed with that thing, but okay, probably it's need more time, so, so it's okay. Uh, it looks like this. In 2016, we'll have in May, sure, complete, uh, but basically the final release will be finished in January 2015. You can see the delays here uh, in this six month period also. So in March, we can expect the new general availability of JDK 9. Okay, so what's in it? Uh, I won't be telling those things. There are a whole bunch of new GSRs and JEPs and everything around it. Uh, and take a look at this slide and you can look at it later uh, on the internet so you can see what, what, what's there. Uh, there are also three JDK profiles in it, while the smallest one is around, well, even less than 10 megabytes. So uh, that's the base and they are building it up on it. So Java can now be a little bit scale more scalable than it was ever before. And with Jigsaw, we'll have even more opportunities on the modularity thing. Uh, Oracle said at Java uh, that Java is now also in the cloud. Okay, that's a great thing, but what does that mean for us? Well, we are in the cloud for the last five years. Some of us for 20 years. Who knows what happened since my student days? Uh, well, J uh, Oracle presented a thing called uh, Oracle Cloud My Services, and basically he said a bunch of vendors are covering that and backing it up. So you can see that the probably that using that cloud is not a bad thing, but I won't advertise that much Oracle anymore. They can say that for themselves. Uh, so. They also presented the other thing in the cloud, which is probably even more appealing to us, and that's the whole embedded in the Internet of Things, uh, which they say you can develop it, you can deploy it to the cloud, and then you can, well, use it anywhere. Okay, uh, I'm going back some 20 years now. Write once, run anywhere. I think that that's, could be a pretty good thing. Uh, there was, by the way, at Java 1, there was a really nice connected car demo also. If you have the, the chance, the, the sessions are free to watch, so watch the videos. Uh, and we didn't say anything about the Enterprise Edition. So the ecosystem behind Enterprise is also growing a lot. Uh, there is uh, compatibility with now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, servers, which are totally EE7 compatible coming from the uh, largest vendors. and EE is also in a progress. Uh, well, the only problem I see right now with EE8 that we'll still have to wait till it happens somewhere in 2017 and we'll be still some time with Enterprise Edition number 10. So we'll have to wait and it's like nine, we'll once again, the JDK 9 Standard Edition will be there uh, almost at the same time as Enterprise Edition number eight. So, you know, that one number always a problem. Uh, Okay, who put this thing over there? Never mind. Ever saw that thing? No. Okay, well, let's go on. So, uh, fight, are you with your current job? Say yeah if you are. Or oh, some enthusiasm there, I see. <laughs> I will say that it's Saturday morning morning. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I took the developer survey from Stack Overflow and I just take a look at that and one third says, I love my job. If only in the other areas, uh, well, for instance, in Croatia, they will all say, I love my job like that. Okay, so them are all satisfied. There are some which say that I hate my job, but okay, Let, let's, I will just cover that thing. You didn't see it. Uh, okay, uh, so what about Java jobs today? Can I get a job? Well, I started searching yesterday evening, as I always do, for the conference. Are there some jobs around it? And I found on Indeed some 90 plus thousands of jobs listed. Uh, well, a lot of them also for seniors and architects. Okay, most of them in New York and San Francisco and Seattle and others. But okay, we have 90 jobs listed there. But that's not all also. If you go to Simply Hired, you will see that or there are almost twice as much of jobs listed there. Uh, on Glassdoor, 
okay, they are only uh, all local areas, so you can see only jobs, for instance, in New York, some almost 20,000 jobs in New York. It looks pretty nice if you, if you look at like this. Uh, the only problem is that, for instance, I'm going back to Europe right now, that we don't have a lot of IT or ICT graduates as we even don't produce uh, a lot of students. Uh, by the way, some of my students are also here and some of Alex's, but I know that uh, we must make it a little bit better. The numbers here show that the whole uh, production of the new IT professionals in Europe is, okay, I have next slide for it, uh, is around here. So 150, 160,000. And unfortunately, the demand is, oh, you would say twice higher. We are now in 2015. Okay, and we are going for that over there. So I think that in five years from now, you'll be hearing me saying that there is one million of IT professionals, of course, not all Java, but missing in Europe only. Uh, okay, sorry. Sorry about that thing. And now let's get back to Huyak. So uh, user groups, there are more than 300 Java user groups in the world. So small part of it. Uh, there are 100 or more only in Europe. And here is the small Huyak. Okay? Uh, by the way, we are non-profit association, so as I told you before, we are all volunteering. And we are dealing with not only Java, but all the related and similar technology around it. Uh, Huyak, well, for Huyak, this is now the 12th conference. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, we started with Java Day uh, when uh, Rogue, at their first conference, welcomed us for the first time in 2011. Then we founded Huyak. In 2012, we did the Java 2012, the first international Java conference, which was in Tuchel. Uh, then we had the second Java Day at Rogue. We also been uh, around an organization of the first Webcom conference. Anyone been to Webcom, maybe? Great. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and Java Crow 13, then the second international Java conference, the third Java Day at Rogue, the second VAMP camp, and we come to the first Javantura. We call it the community conference because it arised, it evolved from a meetup. Uh, then there was the Crow 14, Java version 2, Java Crow 15, which was our latest edition, and now we are all here, well, also in the expectation of Java Crow 16, which will be in May. Probably better without a mic, <laughs> because this is not working properly. Can you hear me all like that? Okay, I'll, I'll then switch. Branko, please use the mic because of the video oh. recording. Uh, the, uh, the number of the presenters is definitely growing, but what about the people? Well, this chart tells everything. As I said, we are, didn't expect this to happen, so thank you all again. Uh, popularity at Huyak, we'll have some around 700 posts. I also have to thank Yuritsa, who is not here with us all here today. And we have close to 100,000 of total views on our page in something like four years now. Uh, by the way, the, there are some statistics, but I just want to mention that we had a monthly maximum when there was Javantura 1 and daily maximum last year, uh, well, in March. Uh, we also have some statistics for Javantura, some 36 plus thousands of visits there, and also Java Crow, main site, we are switching it this year uh, to our uh, one and only English slash Croatian site. Uh, Java Crow HR, uh, but the old site had also something like 50,000 of uh, views. Uh, you can see that most of the maximums were when there was something happening, like a conference or something similar to that. Uh, and now I have to mention some of our partners and friends. Well, first of all, I must mention the Croatian Oracle user group and Vlado, who is in front of it over here, uh, because they helped us a lot to build all those conferences, all Java Crow conferences and everything around it. I have to thank the guys from Carnet who are, well, filming this whole thing. Uh, HR Open, Hard Open, 
uh, and Hulk, who are also will be telling and help us a lot uh, with some advices on how to build conferences and Agile Croatia Association. Uh, there are also friends from the other uh, countries. If you don't know them, you can see b uh, there is Slovenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Macedonia, Serbia, and the others in the region who are also well having and sharing the same issues with gathering uh, Java developers together. Uh, we also have a backup of some educational institutions, and also one of those, RIT Croatia, is today our educational sponsor. So I think that's also pretty important that our students come to such conferences, and well, those students are you, employers. Those students are your future employees, so that's, that's definitely the case. Uh, and a whole bunch of other things over here, you will see also some PHP and Microsoft and the other associations in Croatia, which well, we are also dealing with them when we develop a thing like a web camp, and they are also a great help. Uh, well, but I must, before all, I must mention that today we have around 250 individual members, and I thank you all. You are the core of Huyak, and that's why. Well, that's how we started basically, but. Huh, I would say even more, or at least the same important, is the number of 45 companies which are now the members of HUYAK and which are also paying membership, which is important to us, uh, because without those things, there won't be conferences like this. So thank you, all the companies, for being a part of HUYAK. Uh, the HUYAK activities in general are the same as always. We'll try to exchange the knowledge and experiences, do some meetups and gatherings and, of course, conferences. We'll help you in some things that we know a lot about and that's probably the education. We'll do some help and the certification process and also probably try to help you, but really try because there is a lot of search on the market of jobs these days about the employment of new Java developers. So one and the other side, employers and employees, of course. Uh, in that certification part last year, well, here I have to thank Alexander, who is here, uh, Tihomir, who is there, uh, uh, Yuritsa, who is not here today, Lucia, Lovra, Milan, and Hervé. Uh, they developed a whole bunch of, uh, let's call it, advices and guidelines how that we can certificate in Java. And we also did a nice session on the last Java conference. Uh, and now, when I mentioned all the partners and friends, there is the time so that we also present three other conferences. But before that, let me show you this list of uh, conferences that will arouse mostly before summer on Lichrogis in the second part of the year, which we found well, locally interesting. So those are all in Croatia, and I invite you to visit them. Uh, now I will hand over my mic to the representative of the DroidCon conference, who will say a few words about it. Um, thank you, Branko. Uh, hi, all. Uh, I didn't forget to speak in Croatian, so I will speak in Croatian, so sorry if everybody will not understand me. Uh, my name is Vonimir Stubicer, I am here, Dosh uh, Samovdi, I presented at DroidCon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will talk about in Zagreb 2016. Uh, ove godine organiziramo, neki su već bini prošle godine i sigurno ste već većina čuli za nju, ove godine organiziramo puno veću, puno bolju, puno, puno različitiju i imamo za sve po nešto. Uh, znači organiziramo, bit će puno tokova iz, da vas developere, imat ćemo i za, uh, isto tako i za dizajnere nešto. Uh, ove godine će se pričati puno i o Android autima i o uh, autonomnim vozilima, pričat ćemo po nešto i o dronovima, uh, bit će govora o jako puno različitih zanimljivih stvari. E, ko, sama konferencija se održava u četvrtom mjestu, 27. 28. i 29. četvrtog u hotelu Antunović. 27. smo organizirali hakaton za vas koji žele pokazati šta znaju. 28. 29. je sama konferencija sa jako puno zanimljivih govornika i e, u subotu na večer je, to jest u 28. na večer je i veliki parti za sve. Tako da ovim prilikom bih vas htio pozvat uh, sve na tu konferenciju i nas se vidimo u što većem broju. I htio bih se zahvaliti Hujaku i cijelokupnoj organizaciji Avanture što nas je ovako lijepo ugostila. Hvala svima. A 
thank you. And uh, I think that at least some of us will be there also at DroidCon. Uh, by the way, I'm speaking in English because we have some speakers uh, which are international, so they don't know understand the Croatian. And by the way, some of my own students don't understand Croatian, so I, at least for those uh, 15, 20 people over here, I must continue uh, in English. Uh, but thank you very much, Zolomir. Uh, so that's the first conference we want to mention. The second one is Doors Clock. Anyone been to that thing? Hands up. Okay, there's three, four, five there. Uh, okay, so uh, today over here with us, uh, Svebra Prstačić, the president of Hard Open, supposed to say a few words about it. But unfortunately, he just told me, I just received an SMS, uh, that they have a dead server somewhere. And he has to go there to fix it, basically. <laughs> so he's not able to come here today. So I will say just a few words about it. Uh, so in May 11th, it will be also for two or three days. Uh, I'm not sure of the, the schedule in Hall, but last year, if I, if I recall correctly, that was the, there was the workshop day and two days of conference. Uh, it was here in Zagreb, and if I recall correctly, this year, will be at FAIR. So you're all welcomed. Uh, if you're dealing with open source a lot and Linux and the other things, uh, probably you'll hear a lot of, a bunch of interesting things there. Okay, so that's the second one. And the third one, oh, that's our own. Uh, we have to present and call you to our Java Cross 16 conference, uh, which will be in May in Rovin. Uh, we'll do it together with Creation Oracle user group, so we are just part of it. And I would call Vlado to say a few words about Java Cross conference. Uh, as a balance, let me talk on Creation, please. I will talk quickly, because we have to wait for this daily red, because we will uh, ove godine očekujemo, a gledajući vas koliko ih ima, te ov, ima vas ovdje, ja očekujem da ćemo ovo preko 250 ove godine približiti i 300. Uh, konferencija je prošle godine pre, preselila lokaciju u Rovinj i po svemu onome što smo od onih koji su bili tamo, kao rezultat čuli, bilo je izrazito zadovoljstvo da je ta lokacija iskorištena, s obzirom na sve one aktivnosti koje su se tamo mogle desiti. U svakom slučaju, želim vas pozvati i u ime u Hrvatske udruge Oracle Koristika, koja pod, podupire javu. Rekao vam je Branko 11. Ja ću produžiti još četiri godine prije toga. Smo imali java dane i vidjeli smo da je problem sve veći i da je trebalo proširiti. Od java dana 911, odnosno od 2011 nadalje ekspanzija ide. Nezaustavljivo. Ne za, dakle, očekujemo vas i dobrodošli u Rovinju 20. I 18. do 20. 18. je uobičajeni dolazak uvečer sa određenim velkamom, a radni dani su cijeli da 19. i 20. Dobrodošli. Thank you, Vlado. Uh, I will just add a few uh, more things to it. So we are expecting over there 50 sessions. That's two and a half of what we have here today, basically, two and a half times. We are there for two and a half days also because we will start on Wednesday evening and be there also all the way to the Friday evening or maybe some of us Saturday morning because who knows what will happen on Friday. Uh, and the good thing about it is that since, uh, well, uh, some week ago, the call for speakers is open for all of you and it will close in a month. So please, uh, you're welcome, more than welcome, uh, to present something, to propose uh, a session and be there with us. Uh, as Vlado said, we are expecting even more people than over here. And you know, May, Ravine, Sunshine, Sea, and the other things around it. So that, that are some benefits when you compare it to the thing we are doing over here right now. Okay, uh, so uh, now is the time to thank all our sponsors. Uh, and there are four of those. Well, first of all, our gold sponsor is Aseco. And there is MIPS. Who is here from MIPS, 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 MIPS. Oh, there you are. Come closer. Also sit in the first row in the meantime. Uh, S2 Information System, S2 Informatsky Sustavi, Tihomir, and RIT Croatia. Where is Ivan? 
Oh, here, yeah, thank you. Uh, so now we will switch to a second. They'll all have those so-called lightning talks in five minutes or so. Okay, uh, until Branco does the technical stuff. It's my pleasure to say hello from Aseco. Uh, maybe the clicker as well. Ah, space. Okay, so in front of Aseco. Good morning from us. Uh, we are a partner of this conference, but uh, as Branco said, you are Huyak. We believe Aseco also is Huyak. Uh, we have a lot of people from Aseco here. A lot of people that are uh, actually part of Huyak. We have Slavko here, who is uh, a part of the actually board of Huyak, and we are happy to be a part of this uh, initiative. Not to bore you with the sponsors kind of a slide, just to introduce a seco in a couple of uh, maybe interesting topics. Yes, we are international, but we are quite local. Uh, in Croatia, for example, we have 246 people, out of which 126 are. Um, uh, college degree and 98 of those are engineers so you can imagine the power of uh, of Java in those in those uh, let's say numbers uh, what we do and to just give you an example uh, I don't know if you've been to Javantura last year we were talking about digital banking digital banking transformation and this is becoming a very interesting topic in all areas of business today uh, we can also show you we are a partner of Intesa Sao Paulo group for example which is a group project of digital transforming all of their business. So from physical to really digital uh, interaction with the customer. Aseco is the group vendor for this solution, so we will be the mobile banking vendor of their whole group. Uh, to maybe emphasize the size of such a project, this will be two years of hard work. Slavko can also t talk a little bit about it if you're interested. So. Uh, it will take you to different places if you're working in a seco. So this is, these are pictures from my colleagues, actually. Uh, not this project, but uh, things that you do in such a way. So from San Francisco to Salt Lake City to Milano, where we also drink beer as well, Warsaw and Cairo. So yes, uh, there's always a great, uh, uh, how to say it, uh, challenge in startups, challenge in doing uh, uh, very interesting projects, but also working in a, such a big project like we do <laughs> has its own uh, benefits as well. To give you another example, uh, the number 2000, uh, which is the, actually the number of coffee we drink each month. Uh, and if you know that Java, of course, is the word for coffee, we can say that Java is in our blood. Uh, other than this, we are also happy to say that 2000 is the scholarship amount we give to students. We really believe that uh, uh, students, uh, which will hopefully one day uh, continue their uh, their work in ASECO, uh, are our future. So we are very really supportive in this. If you've seen hackathon uh, organized by ASECO and FOI, we are very happy to see such initiatives as well. And for the last number that uh, I'm going to put on these slides, uh, not to keep it very boring, is number 20. Uh, Incidentally enough, this is the number of kilos of uh, a popular drink in Croatia called Sedevita. We also drink every month. But there's another number that's more important here. This is the number of new ASECO future stars, meaning the kids in our organization. So 20 new kids in ASECO. If you know the demographic uh, trends in Croatia or in, even in Europe, we are very proud of this number. And ASECO is very much supportive uh, in this area as well. We do co corporate social responsibility. We believe uh, it's a very important part of doing business in a, in a way that gives back to the community as well. And we will be here, if you've seen our stand uh, back there, by the end of the day, we are very interested in having a cup of Java with you, if it's possible. And to wish you all a great day, wish you all uh, very interesting topics that I've seen, and hopefully it will be very interesting for you. Thank you. Let me just switch back, sorry. 
Okay, uh, thank you, Aseko. First of all, being for second time with us uh, and for well bringing all the people here also and having the stand. And I think you have some kind of game there, so probably some of the people will have something to carry on besides our bags, regular bags. And well, it's in a pleasure to to work with you. Mips, where is Mips? Okay, our next sponsor here is Dushka. Dushka, could you say some words about me? Hello, everybody. I'll switch to creation. Uh, Sandušku Vradović, Tvrtka MIPS. Tvrtka MIPS je član Alfate grupacije. Mi smo vam onako, ako niste puno čuli za nas, recimo poštari. Naš core business je pošta, poštanske aplikacije, pokrivamo core business svih pošta i malo nas je u svijetu koji tako dobro vladamo tehnologijom pošte. Ima nas dvadesetak i djeca nam se rađuju vrlo dobro, ove godine smo došli na brojku četiri novih, tako da nam je prosjek malo bolji, jer da nas je manje. Java razvoj nam konstantno raste, dobar dio Java tima je tu s nama, upoznat ćete se, možete razgovarati s njima, možete malo i pomahat da vas ljudi vide, dobro se skrivaju, ali ok. Treba će im pomoć, najviše nam je rastući dio Java razvoja, tako da ako je neko zainteresiran s nama popričat o budućoj suradnji, bit ćemo jako zadovoljni. Da vas ne gnjavim dalje, Branko voli puno pričat, pa da možemo brže požutiti. Thank you, Duško. Kaže profesionalna deformacija. Hvala. Thank you, Mips, that you are with us today here as a sponsor also. And our third sponsor that I want to mention is here is Tihomir from S2 Information Systems, ili S2 Informatski sustavi po naški. Hi, all. I always manage to forget how much Branko likes to talk, so this time frame is small for us, but... Uh, we are a firm that is uh, mainly uh, doing uh, Java outsourcing, uh, and uh, since uh, Java outsourcing is very hard, uh, we are looking for uh, very talented people, and uh, uh, as I can see, there is many people here, I hope there is uh, many talented people here, so we are, uh, we are calling you to join us and to help us are doing our, our uh, hard work. And we are here because we are a strongly technically oriented firm, based on, uh, on Java technologies. And this is a conference that is just like that. So we are happy to help those people that are volunteering here. So, Branko, here you go again. <laughs> I won't bother you anymore. Thank you. Thank you, S2IS, or however you call your company, Tihomir, uh, in English, of course, S2 Informatski Sustav in Hrvatskom. Uh, well, I, I uh, just want to mention that uh, Tihomir also helped us when we were at JavaCro to talk a little bit more about Java certification because he is one of those few professionals here who has the, the so-called Enterprise Architect, how it's called? Yeah, Enterprise Architect Certificate, Master, sorry, uh, which is one of relatively still rare in Croatia. Uh, so you can turn to them and they'll be also over here and having a, a session also today so that you can hear a little bit more about them. Okay, and now for the uh, final and definitely in the educational way, the best sponsor today, here is Ivan from RIT Croatia. Uh, well, RIT Croatia is with us now uh, for the second time, if I recall that correctly. So that's, that's pretty nice. And uh, here are your slides, Ivan, please. Hi, good morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to greet you all in front of the RIT Croatia. My name is Ivan Mikic, and as a representative of RIT Croatia, I would like to use this opportunity and share a few things with you about our institution. So basically, RIT Croatia is a division of Rochester Institute of Technology from Rochester, New York, uh, founded in 1997 in Dubrovnik, where we opened the first campus as a pri first private educational institution in Croatia. Uh, in 2011, we started with a campus in Zagreb as well. Um, RIT Croatia is a university in Croatia that offers to, to students dually accredited degrees. So basically, students receive American degree issued from the RIT, and also students receive Croatian degree issued from the RIT Croatia. Currently, we count around 750 students among two Croatian campuses in Zagreb and Dubrovnik, uh, offering three Bachelor of Science degrees which lasts for four years as students receive 240 ECTS points upon competition, but also we deliver one Master of Science degree. Uh, 
RIT is RIT Croatia is career oriented college. So it means the education which is based on applied education, practical knowledge and sustainable career development through mandatory co-ops. Mandatory co-op means mandatory practical work in the companies that we cooperate with. Students find those companies through our institution, through career education day event that we organize, but also through career services department, which basically works as a link between the industry and our students. All classes are taught in English, of course. English is basically the first spoken language at the campus. Couple of things about our mother institute, RIT, basically founded in 1820. It has a reputation of more than 180 years, uh, with the global campus sites in Rochester, Dubai, Croatia, Dubrovnik, and Zagreb, and also pretty soon opening a campus in China as well. It has more than 18,500 students spread among 230 academic programs uh, on nine colleges within the campus, and basically there's the 10th largest private American university as well career-oriented college and basically has the oldest co-op program in U.S. Uh, RIT counts around 180,000 alumni uh, throughout the world. In Croatia, we deliver three undergraduate Bachelor of Science degrees. So basically those are international business offered in Zagreb, international hospitality and service management offered at our Dubrovnik campus, and the information technology program which is offered on both our Croatia. Also, we deliver one Master of Science degree uh, that's in the field of service leadership and innovation. Uh, as said earlier, RIT Croatia degrees are recognized in Croatia but also in US. So in US they're recognized by two head organizations dealing with the uh, accreditations and recognitions in US and those are Middle States Commission on Higher Education and Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools in Croatia. Um, recognized by ministers, but also recognized in many other magazines and associations uh, dealing with the education. Uh, in Croatia, we deliver information technology program on both of our campuses with the concentrations in application development, mobile application development, and database programming and application development. Uh, on this chart, you can see uh, the increase in number of students on the uh, IT program over the last five, six years. And basically, currently, we count around 70, uh, 70 students enrolling a yearly our IT program. Um, some of the courses offered at the IT program at the RIT Croatia vary from general computing, programming, uh, web and mobile application, database, human computer interaction, networking system research, and so forth. But really, uh, for more detailed description uh, of the courses offered at the RIT Croatia IT degree, you can talk to our students here that are sitting in the audience, to our professors, some of them sitting in the audience, some of them even at the front desk, at the main desk. How many of the students here today? Is? Let me show, let me see the hands. All right, I have a small note for you. Really do take advantage of this uh, event, mingle around, introduce yourselves to uh, others, say a couple things about what you do at the college, um, talk about what they do in their, in their companies, because you never know. You might be talking to your uh, future potential employer. Uh, with this, I would like to wrap up. Uh, if you will have any additional questions or would you li would like to find out something more, feel free to stop by our desk, which is placed right next to the uh, registration desk at the entrance. We also have some small uh, RIT Croatia gifts, so if you are interested, feel free to stop by. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great rest of the day. Thank you, Ivan. Well, as I said, RIT Croatia is with us for the second time, and we really thank them. So they brought with them together some 15, 20, even more than 20, 25 students. So that's also an opportunity for you employers to get, you know, new Java developers or maybe some other developers, who knows, because there are some uh, gems there that you just need to take and do something with them. Uh, okay, let me, let me continue with this presentation, which I will finish in a minute or so. So instead of the conclusion today, I will have one, uh, well, a request and a proposal for you. Well, I have basically a call, a call for participation. As I said when I was starting this whole thing, Huyak is you. 
So basically it means we are reaching to ourselves to, this is some kind of self-help talk now, uh, reaching to ourselves to, to help us to build a better community. Well, we need all kind of help there. First of all, in everyday life of uh, Java user group, like, I don't know, organization of this conference, today you saw that there is only few of us there and we are struggling with number of 250, 300 attendees. Uh, meetups and workshops. We are expecting for you to tell us what you want to talk about and is also if you have anything interesting to share with us or even you want to organize a workshop, we are there for you. We want to do it together with you, okay? So you have to tell us what you want. In conferences, not only, but also JavaCro and the other things that will come uh, this year and the next year. So yes, we need a lot of help. You can help us well in many ways, uh, also by sponsoring this whole thing because you know, it costs money. Uh, but also be here, first of all, be here as speakers. We need, qu qu well, speakers that can present something interesting, some business cases, some new technologies, some breakthroughs. And what we've learned so far in all these conferences is that most of the things you've learned is, well, from mistakes, but it's better when those are someone else's mistakes, not your own, okay? So try to do that. Uh, and finally, the education part and certification. So what about it? Well, in general, we are providing all kind of help. I wouldn't call it a service. It's more like a help in that part. But we also need to share your experience about those things. And to conclude this part, well, the employment. That's probably the thing that's hurting us the most. Well, all of us. Uh, I think that out of those 45 company members of Huyak, every month at least 20 call me and say, do you have some new Java developers there? And I say, oh, sorry, I don't have up my sleeve no one today. And that's a problem because the job market is here in Croatia, we are really struggling with the new. As I said, the whole production of new IT professionals in Croatia every year is around 1,000. So we are going to help you with that, but you also have to help us. Uh, okay, so to conclude, Huyak is you, so don't be ashamed to ask each other about help and to share experience and to find something new here today or any other time. And okay, here are the, the official pages, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter channels through which you can contact all of us. And okay, I have to finish right now, but what's that there? Have anyone been to Java One ever? Ah, do you remember the t-shirt toss? Okay, I, we have some t-shirts to toss, okay? But we won't toss them because they are in numbers from small to X large. Uh, and we'll just get them to you. But for those of you that we don't have t-shirts, we have some other presents. So I ask my colleagues over here to help me deliver all those t-shirts over here and all those things in the boxes. Come on, come on, come on, guys. And OK, we'll just go through and give you some presents at the end part of it. Thank you all. We'll be delivering now the two tracks in two halls, this one and the next one. And go out for a coffee break right now. Thank you all. <laughs>